Hello, everybody. Welcome to um, this week's Creation to Creator episode. Uh, we greatly appreciate you all joining us. And a special thanks to every one of you who are showing your support for this program through um, encouraging words, likes, and shares. You know what? It's been one year since we started doing this program. So we heard several testimonies of God touching people through the songs and the messages. So let all glory be to God Almighty for everything that he has accomplished. We continue to pray that God will uh, help us to be good stewards of what God has entrusted in us. This is not a venue for performance, but this is a humble effort to glorify our Creator. So remembering God's goodness and mercy, we want to start today's program with a song that worships God. You know, the beginning line of that song says, Aradhine, Aradhine. You know, that expression just makes me so excited. So come on, let us sing the song together and offer our worship to God. Yeah, 
You know, Bible is filled with exciting actions. From Genesis to Revelations, every book is filled with the display of God's power and glory. But you know what? God has always used normal human beings who were willing to foolishly trust God to display that power and glory. So in this age and time, God wants to use every one of us to show that power, glory, and his love to the people around us. As I said, the key is our willingness to trust what God says. So I want to talk about one of the powerful incidences where God used a foolish guy to deliver an entire nation. You know, if you're familiar with the Bible incidents, you might have already uh, guessed what I'm going to talk about. It is the thrilling victory that Israel won over the Philistine army because of a young boy's willingness to trust God. We see this incident in the Old Testament book of 1 Samuel chapter 17. So the Philistines encamped against Israelites for a war. There was a champion named Goliath and he came out of the Philistine camp and started challenging Israelites. He's, he's a, he, he was huge and strong. No one was willing to fight with him. It was at that time David came to visit his brothers. He heard Goliath talking bad about his God and his nation. And he said, I'm going to fight with this guy. His brothers, the king of Israel, maybe others who knew him, all disgraced David. But David knew that God is with him and that is all that he needs. So he went and took some smooth stones, kept one of them in his sling, and started walking towards his giant. As he got clo close, he began to swing his sling and threw the stone. I believe that was the moment that David left the control of the situation completely to God's hand. Until then, he had a little bit of his expertise in play. You know, God took over. God guided the stone. It went and hit the giant's forehead precisely. He fell on the ground dead. Forty days of challenge got collapsed in that moment. Do you see a giant before you? Do you see a situation in your life that you think is going to destroy you? My question today is not how big that problem is, but rather, do you trust God and his power? If yes, walk towards that situation in faith. God will come with you and bring that giant down. You know, I want to talk about four specific lessons that God taught me from this incident. We will do that right after our next song, a very old time favorite, Kunyatin Thiru Rektatal Yan Shuthanai Thiru. Rikshaga, Studi Nina Kendum, 
ചീറ്റിൽ നിന്നെന്നെ നീ വീണ്ടെടുത്തതിനാൽ സ്തുതിക്കും നിന്നെ ഞാൻ ആയുസിൻ നാളെല്ലാം നന്ദിയോടടിവാണെങ്കും ആർപ്പോടു നിന്നെ ഘോഷിക്കും ഈ സിയോ യാത്രയിൽ മുൻപോട്ടു തന്നെ ഓടുന്നു എൻ വിരുദീനായി ആർപ്പോടു നിന്നെ ഘോഷിക്കും ഈ സിയോ യാത്രയിൽ മുൻപോട്ടു തന്നെ ഓടുന്നു എൻ വിരുദീനായി ലഭിക്കും നിശ്ചയം ുമേ കൊണ്ടുപോകയില്ല പ്രാപിക്കും നന്നു ഞാൻ രാജൻ കൈയിൽ നിന്നും ദൂതന്മാരുടെ മധ്യത്തിൽ ലഭിക്കും നിശ്ചയം എൻ വിരൂതെനിക്ക് ശത്രുക്കൾ ആരുമേ കൊണ്ടുപോകയില്ല പ്രാപിക്കും നന്നു ഞാൻ രാജൻ കൈയിൽ നിന്നും ദൂതന്മാരുടെ മധ്യത്തിൽ എൻ ഭാഗ്യകാലം ഓർക്കുമ്പോഴുള്ളം തൊള്ളുന്നു ഈ ലോക സുഖം തള്ളി ഞാൻ ആ ഭാഗ്യം കണ്ടപ്പോ എൻ ഭാഗ്യകാലം ഓർക്കുമ്പോഴുള്ളം തൊള്ളുന്നു ഈ ലോക സുഖം തള്ളി ഞാൻ ആ ഭാഗ്യം രാജ്യത്തിൽ അന്നു ഞാൻ പാടിടും രാജൻ മൂഖം കണ്ടു എന്നും ഞാൻ കോഷിക്കും രക്തത്തിൻ ഫലമായി വാഴുമേ സ്വർഗത്തിൽ കോടി കോടി യുഗങ്ങളായി വിദ്യമാം രാജ്യത്തിൽ അന്നു ഞാൻ പാടിടും രാജൻ മൂഖം കണ്ടു എന്നും ഞാൻ കോഷിക്കും രക്തത്തിൻ ഫലമായി വാഴുമേ സ്വർഗത്തിൽ കോടി കോടി യുഗങ്ങളായി ഞാൻ വേഗം ചേർന്നിടും എൻ ക്ലേശമാകി നീങ്ങിപ്പോ അവിടെ എത്തുമ്പോ മനോഹരമ സിയോനിൽ ഞാൻ വേഗം ചേർന്നിടും എൻ ക്ലേശമാകി നീങ്ങിപ്പോ അവിടെ സന്തോഷം പ്രാപിക്കും നന്നു ഞാൻ എൻ ശത്രുവിനത് എടുപ്പാൻ പാടില്ല ആനന്ദം കൂടിടും സാനന്ദം പാടിടും ശ്രീയേശു രാജൻ മുൻപാകെ നിത്യമാം സന്തോഷം പ്രാപിക്കും നന്നു ഞാൻ എൻ ശത്രുവിനത് എടുപ്പാൻ പാടില്ല ആനന്ദം കൂടിടും സാനന്ദം പാടിടും ശ്രീയേശു രാജൻ all right here are the four lessons um, that i learned from the david goliath incident number 1 god will prepare you ahead of time to fight the battle that you are going to face in future when we read the incident we see david handing over his resume to king saul giving him the assurance that he is the right candidate for the job so he told the story of he rescuing his sheep from a lion and a bear and killing them then he said the god who rescued me from the lion and bear will rescue me from this philistine second lesson the tools that you already have is enough to fight the battle that comes in your life you know there is a point in the story when king saul tried to put his armor on david thinking that it might help but david decided to go with what he was used to god knows every path that you need to go through and has provided everything that you need to face that moment you will be fully equipped to face the moment when you get to it all right lesson number 3 don't look at the size of the problem look at god who is bigger than the problem you know david was a shepherd boy 
humanly thinking there is no chance for david before goliath but as david was walking into the battlefield he probably had his attention on god who is bigger and stronger than goliath lesson number 4 trust god without a doubt i often wonder what gave david the confidence that no one in the israel army did not have it was nothing else but the absolute trust that god will walk with him and destroy this giant if you truly know who your god is you will also be able to walk toward the battle without any fear so trust in god will give you the confidence to laugh at the storms that comes at you we are going to end today's program with a requested song nyan yogyan alla yeshuve you know this song was requested by a dear friend of mine a song that acknowledges that we are not worthy of god's love but thanking him for loving us anyway
Father God, we just want to thank you so much for giving us the time to sing praises and worship you. And thank you so much for teaching us beautiful lessons from that incident of David and Goliath. Thank you for helping us to understand that you are a God who is stronger and bigger than any giants that comes against us. So, as I pray for everyone who is watching this program, they might be facing some giants in their life they might be facing some mountains in their life lord jesus in your name i pray that you will go with them as they walk towards that giant lord give them the strength give them the boldness that when they see that problem coming against them they will not be shaken but their trust in you will increase all the more oh god help them to see you more than seeing the problem Lord we pray that you will give them the strength you will give them the faith that they will be able to walk through it oh father lord lord we can just look back in our life and see so many times that you stood with us you came with us and you destroyed the giants before us and we we know that it is the same god who is there with us today also and so we submit all of our matters before you i pray for everyone watching in jesus name I I declare victory over their lives and I command those giants in their life to move away so that they will be able to walk victoriously in your name O oh God. Thank you again for giving us this wonderful time in Jesus name. All right everybody, uh, trust God, you know, walk with him. Face your challenges with boldness. Psalm 91 verse 1 says who over dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty so make sure you are within the protection and the plan of god then there is nothing that you need to be afraid of all right thank you so much for joining us we will see you again next week same time sunday 7:30 pm central standard time we would like to hear from you so either leave a comment in the facebook comment section or send me an email at creation2creator@gmail.com we also have a youtube channel where where the recorded version of our weekly programs and the individual songs are uploaded i will share the link below please visit and subscribe to the channel that's it for today goodbye